بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب زدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین دی ٹاپک آف دس لیکچر از دی امپارٹنٹ کانسیپٹس آف ٹائپ ون اینڈ ٹائپ ٹو ایررز فار دس لیکچر آئی ایم یوزنگ دی ورک آف ون آف مائی آؤٹ اسٹینڈنگ اینڈ بیسٹ اسٹوڈنٹ مس ہادیہ سید آف کلاس ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ون دی لائسیم an important advice for me and for everyone avoid sins and be pious type 1 and type 2 errors a type 1 error occurs when a true h not is rejected you can define type 1 error in this way a type 1 error occurs when a true h not is rejected or you can say reject h not when h not is true you can read this as reject h not given that h not is true this slash means given that but this is the best definition a type one error occurs when a true h not is rejected this one is also good reject h not when h not is true so for type one error you must be in critical region if this is the critical region because we reject h not here so type 1 this is the region for type 1 if this is the critical region then type 1 error would be here because we reject h not here well a type 2 error occurs when a false h not is accepted meaning accept h not when h not is false or you can say accept h not given that h not is false and we accept h not here if this is the critical region then we accept h not here so this is the region for type 2 because we accept h not here and this is the region for type 1 because we reject h not here possible errors when you conclude that reject h not in testing if you conclude reject h not then possible error would be type 1 so if your conclusion is this then this is the possible error and type 2 error is not possible and vice versa what if you conclude accept h not then the possible error would be type 2 and type one error would not be possible so it depends on the conclusion so if your conclusion is this if you conclude this then the possible error is type one and type two error is not possible if you conclude this except h not then the possible error would be type two and type one error would not be possible factors for the errors uh maybe the sample data is biased i mean the way you select the sample is not random it is biased this is the first factor maybe probability model is not the correct model maybe the model was normal and you use binomial wrongly or the model was for poison and we use wrongly binomial maybe uh, alpha percent not appropriate for the situation maybe alpha percent the was 5% and the actual percentage uh, would uh, be 10% should be 10% so these are three factors for the errors the sample data is not random maybe biased the sample data would be biased maybe probability model is not the suitable model correct model maybe alpha percent is not appropriate for the situation 
So these are the possible factors for the errors. Example, a type 1 error happens when an innocent person is found guilty. A type 2 error happens when a guilty person is found innocent because of the wrong interpretation of the uh, lawyer. Example, uh, this is the uh, H0, uh, when a fair die is thrown, let's suppose 10 times, then the probability of getting 6, you know, is 1 upon 6 and uh, the test is you have to check whether the die is biased, uh, is more likely to give uh, 6. So this situation is given. P is 1 upon 6 and P is greater than 1 upon 6. So this is for fair die and this is the biased die. There are two possible conclusions. Number one, if H0 is rejected, what if, if you conclude that H0 is rejected, if your test value lies in critical region, then you would reject H0. So when you re say reject H0, that means you are concluding that the die is biased. Understand this thing with respect to this. When H0 is rejected, this means you are accepting this fact. You are accepting H1. You are accepting, you are saying that the die is biased. So since H0 is rejected, so the possible error is type 1. This is the possible error. Because when you reject H0, then type 1 error can be made. Now, you have to uh, write type 1 error in the context. What is meant by type 1 error in this context? So, you have to write this thing here. Concluding that the die is biased when it is not a biased die. So, first write this thing here uh, and then write when it is not a biased die because this is the wrong conclusion. Error means this conclusion is wrong. So first write this and then write when it is not a biased die, when it was a fair die, when it is a fair die. The second possibility, number two, if H0 is accepted, what if the test value lies in accepted region here? Then you would conclude that the die is fair. H0 accepted means you are con concluding this, you are accepting this fact. Now. Since H0 is accepted, therefore type 2 error can be possible, can be made. And type 2 error is possible, in fact. Now, write this thing here. Concluding that the die is fair. Since this is the wrong conclusion because type 2 error is possible, so you should write when it is not a fair die. So whatever you concluded in the previous part, you have to write that thing here and then you have to say this conclusion is not right because, because of type 2 error. For discrete distributions, type 1 and type 2 error for discrete distributions. Discrete means Poisson and binomial. I hope you have all, I mean you have watched my first lecture on testing because this is the second lecture. So the, f uh, the first lecture is compulsory. Must watch my first lecture on testing and then watch this lecture. Now type one error. I already have told you uh, a type one error occurs when a true H0 is rejected, when you reject H0. So the rejection of H0 means type one error. So we reject H0 here. Therefore, this is the region for type 1 error. And we accept H0 here. This is the acceptance region. So this is the region for type 2 error because a type 2 error occurs when a uh, false H0 is accepted. Or you can say accept H0 when H0 is false. So in order to get the probability of type 1 error, you first need to work for critical region. First find the critical region and you all know how to find critical region for discrete distributions. You use trial and error method for that. Let's suppose the critical region is this. 
if the critical region is this let's suppose uh, we have 10 here and uh, 12 here then the probability of type 1 error would be this I mean type 1 error this is type 1 let me write this again the correct one is the probability of critical region and this is the critical region so the probability of critical region will give you the probability of type 1 error and simple uh, the probability of accepted region will give you type probability of type 2 error if this is the critical region then this will be the accepted region meaning complement of the critical region this is CR and this is CR complement well if the critical region is this let's suppose this is the critical region CR so the probability of type 1 will be probability CR 8, 9, 10 and use H0 I mean this is the uh, P of H0 so whenever you work for critical region and whenever you work for probability of type 1 always use P0 so 8, 9, 10 this will give you probability of type 1 error and remember for type 2 a new P must be given you can never use P0 for type 2 a new P must be given this is a new P so the probability of accepted region yeah, or critical region complement will be the probability for type 2 error so 0 to 7 these numbers will give you the probability for type 2 error Seven to zero. Seven six to zero. Or one minus those numbers which are not in this list. You all know how to find these properties. given type 2 meaning accepted region this means p has decrease this means p has not decrease for type 2 error or for type 1 error for both first work for critical region i mean you just need to work for critical region and you you all know how to find the critical region we use trial and error method for that so by using trial and error method we can get the critical region let's suppose this is the critical region so 3 to 20 from 3 to 20 numbers this uh, region is for type 2 so this uh, will be this will give you probability of type 2 error x greater than 2 and x less than equal to 2 will give you probability for type 1 error a new p will be used and p of h0 should be used for type 1 now for continuous distribution the normal distribution uh, the probability for type 1 is always alpha percent because the probability of critical is alpha and you can exactly you can get the uh, this value uh, in normal distribution you cannot get this value in a binomial and uh, uh, Poisson distribution we discussed these things in my first lecture in detail so must watch my first lecture to understand this concept well so the probability for type 1 is alpha percent the sketch is uh, here if this is the critical region and if this is alpha percent then this will give you probability of type 1 error and this is the region for type 2 critical region complement and how to guide the critical region for that we use this inequality if the critical region is here if h1 has a less a greater sign then we use this inequality since h1 has a greater sign so use this 
for upper tail you use you should use this for lower tail use this inequality since we are in we are here so we have to use this this is the critical region this x bar means critical region and this value can be uh, found from the table or calculator because alpha percent will be given if alpha percent is 5 percent you can easily get this value from calculator or table this will be given this will be given you can easily get this thing so this is the critical region Now one tail and two tail tests. Uh, you all know uh, when H1 uh, involves a greater sign, then we perform the upper tail test. One tail and upper tail. In a one tail test, H1 looks for a for an increase or a decrease in mu. For an increase, H1 has a greater sign. So perform this tail uh, upper tail test and this is the region for type 1 error and this is the region for type 2 error for a decrease in h1 we have lesser sign here so perform this lower tail test this is the region for type 1 and this is the region for type 2 in a two tail two tail test h1 looks for a change this is the two tail test so these two regions are for type 1 and this is type 2. So the probability of type 1 will be alpha percent. Same is here. Probability of type 1 is alpha percent. This thing. Two tail tests, type 1 and type 2 errors for discrete distributions. Binomial and Poisson. First, find critical region. There must be two critical regions, this and this. Let's suppose the critical region is this, 0, 1, 2, and 19 and 20. So for type 1 error, find the probability for critical region. So probability of critical region will be 0, 1, 2, 19, and 20. This will give you probability of critical region. This will be the probability of type 1 error. And type 2, this will be critical region complement. I mean 3 to 18 1 minus those numbers which are not in this list and a new P must be used remember whenever we work for probability of type 2 we always use the new P new P Now, uh, for normal distribution, two tail tests. First, get critical regions. For this critical region, use this inequality. And for this critical, use this inequality. Lesser sign, greater sign. You will get two critical regions. X1 bar less than A, X2 bar greater than B. And this is the uh, type 2, place for type 2 error. So, type 2 error will be between X1 bar and X2 bar. C R complement. So it should be X bar lies between A and B. This is A and this is B. So this is type 2. Well, I hope this lecture will help you uh, to understand the concepts of type 1 and type 2.